let's talk about money real quick. This Monday, Money Monday. One thing before we talk about money, I just want to share something with you that can hopefully make your day better. And it can be a mood increaser for whenever you feel burnt out or whenever you feel tired. Because I get tired, I get burnt out sometimes. I'm doing two businesses. But I found out something that can make you feel better whenever you feel anxious or low or depressed. And it's not a drug. It's not coffee. It's not something that you buy materialistic. It's just... If you feel down, then try to make somebody else feel better, whether it's your family member or your friend, but just call somebody and just be like, what's up? I haven't talked to you in a minute. Or go downstairs and tell your brother, your mom, your sister, your dad, your dog that you love them. Or if you feel anxious or stressed out or burned out, just go into grass or like go find an area where you could sit down like outside in nature. If you have animals, that's even better. Like one of the best things I've ever found for calming me down is I just watch my cats just walk around the backyard because they're so chill and they're so light on their feet. They just look around and they're just so calm. And I think about, I'm like, man, these cats don't care about money. They don't care about drugs. They don't care about women or men. They don't care about nothing. They just want to eat in the morning, eat at night. And they just go around and they just play in the dirt. They walk around the fences. They tippy toe across and look for squirrels and birds. I just, I feel like you can learn a lot from animals, but that's one thing. If you feel low, sad, depressed, anxious, Go make yourself feel better by making somebody else feel better. And it's gonna, now you're gonna have two people feeling good versus someone feeling down and you're feeling down. And maybe the person that you're gonna talk to about, like just how you miss them, maybe you're making their day better and they didn't even expect it. So it's just like, you can just make the world better. Okay, side note. Okay, so let's talk about money now. Um, like my channel is called Make Money Mowing, right? And as I evolve and as I mature, I kind of, the reason I keep changing my name from my first and last name to Make Money Mowing is because Make Money Mowing is a cool name and it rolls off the tongue and it got me to where I'm at. But I don't want money to be, I don't want someone to think about, oh, that guy just cares about money because that's like the farthest from the truth. Like money is very surface level. You need it to provide shelter for you and your family and to feed yourself and whatnot. But past a certain point, you don't need as much money as you might think that you need because take it from me, like I used to work for 725 an hour at jobs at retail stores. I used to work as a server and get paid 213 an hour. And it's like I went from doing that making a thousand or less a month to making between my first couple months in lawn care like a thousand two thousand and then building up to where the most i've ever made working solo was like seven to eight thousand in lawn care and then if you combine the money that i made from mowing with my lawn care business this year with my online courses and just the people that i've been helping like i've made over ten thousand a month but just take it from me it's like past a certain amount just depending on your lifestyle and depending on like the way that you live and the way that you move more money doesn't make you feel any better and in fact just grinding it out for those extra dollars on top of your already comfortable level like say if five thousand a month is enough to live like seriously let me live a great life which it is it's like why am i gonna bust my ass and give up my weekend staying on the computer just trying to work harder and harder and taking on more yards to make seven thousand when five thousand is sufficient it's like yeah you can make more money but it's money doesn't have to always be like i need more i need more sometimes there should be a point where in, instead of just thinking about how much you could be making think about like when's the last time you budgeted yourself and you really crunched how much you spend in a month and i know like even me myself i'll be like well it's hard because my income and my lung care will fluctuate and sometimes i spend more on groceries sometimes i don't it's like that's an excuse why don't we collectively start thinking about how much we spend and what our budget is before just thinking about i want to make 10 grand a month i want to make 12 grand a month i want to make five grand a month just think about really just budget yourself there's so many apps that you could do but you could literally just go on a piece of paper and i think it feels better to write physically versus typing on a phone just write down your budget think about how much did i spend last month on food and gas and groceries and having fun and if you don't know then you shouldn't even be worrying about how much money you're trying to make you should be worrying about figuring out why you're not budgeting yourself there's something worse at play that's causing you to run around scatterbrained so just want to think about that you don't need as much money as you think that you need and take it from me from someone who's made a lot of money in a month and then making a comfortable level it's past a certain point depending on you like past five thousand it's like i feel the same like obviously it feels good to have more money in the bank to do stuff like i just paid off my car but it's just like why just th just think about that like Everybody is on their own journey and I don't know, this is kind of like an open concept. I want to hear your thoughts too, but it's just like from somebody besides me, like somebody who's made money, if you've made a bunch of money doing something you don't really want to be doing, not saying that I don't like what I'm doing, but it's like you could go get a job and make a hundred bands doing something you don't want to do, but they're paying you a hundred bands because the work is tough and it's stressful. Or you could make 50 doing what you love 
like what I'm doing and it's just like you're gonna feel so much better and you don't always have to be desiring more and more because the more that you desire the more it's robbing you of the present and you're not grateful for what you have and it's crazy and I don't know it's just the world that we live in and then I'll share this one concept to end this video it's from a Derek Grace video he was talking about this is about just like economics and just the world that we live in. We live in a society where you could work as a server or you could work as a bellhop for a hotel and you're getting paid like two thirteen an hour, right? So you're living off of tips. And say if when I used to be a restaurant server, if I would go sit down a table and their bill would be $50 and they wouldn't leave me anything, they would just stiff me, I would be like, damn, that's fucked up. They didn't leave me a tip. So I'd be mad at the customer and I'd be salty. And if they, if I ever saw them again in public or at the restaurant, I would just have this bad taste in my mouth. I'd be like, I hate that customer. They're not a good customer. But we live in a society where that's ingrained onto us and like us as the servers put together, we would bitch about customers. It's like, why aren't we bitching about the fact that we beg to get a job at a place that's giving us two thirteen an hour? Why don't we yell at and like fight with the restaurants or just break free why are we hounding the customers for not giving us the tip when we're the ones who put ourselves in the position to get paid 213 an hour to live off of customers tips which isn't required it's just like just think about that like i didn't even think about that i used to be a server but i was like yeah like why would like that's crazy why is that ingrained in us to where like we're mad at the people for not giving us a tip versus looking in the mirror and being like damn i'm not doing what i should be doing if i'm in this crappy position so I just wanted to say this stuff um one if you don't feel good make somebody else feel good and you'll feel really good trust me you don't need to spend money you don't need to buy a drug you don't need to buy any clothes or anything it's just like this shirt costs like uh seven dollars from walmart or this tank top and it's just like i don't know it's just like i'd rather have money in my bank than like super nice stuff on my body and the second thing was you just don't need as much money as you might think that you need like of course you need to grind it up and get to that point but it would be better if you could just make your number realistic that you can achieve it closer so you get to the point where you're like damn i hit my goal and if you're making 1000 you want to make 5000 you don't got to wait till 10000 to feel like you made it like just make it like even 3000 might change your life if you're doing what you love to attain that 3000 it's like that's what it's not just money it's like what are you doing to make the money how much are you sacrificing to make the money like where are you now there's so many variables so don't just get caught up on the number and the dollar amount just think about how you're moving and as long as you're enjoying how you're moving the money will come trust me so that's it make money i just bought the domain name it costs 900 dollars. so just think about that it takes money to make money i was how to make money mowing.com but i saw on an auction you could buy it for 900 so i bought make money mowing.com and i removed the how to and that's 900 bucks that's a that's a band and it's like my mom got mad at me she was like that's a waste of money and i was like y'all never see my vision you guys always just try and tell me what they think is best for me but i know spending that money that 800 900 dollars it was like 850 really spending that 850 on the domain name is going to be worth it because that's branding so just don't be afraid to spend money on your brand whether it's your long care business whatever business you have if you feel like it's right then you can't put a price on feeling great and just having a nice branded company so i'm gonna go i got six zoom calls today so look forward to meeting all y'all peace out make money